Hi, my name's Liam James Kay. I'm an entrepreneur and YouTuber, and you can usually find me over on my YouTube channel, giving tips and tricks on how to make money online. I think it's really important not to be the cheapest. When you first start looking into print on demand, you might think in order to compete with the competitors, you're gonna to have to be cheaper than those people. But I've actually found the opposite is true. When I increase my prices, I seen an increase in sales. And I think that's because people see a higher price as a higher value product. And if you are going for a cheap, cheap supplier, that means usually the product is gonna be of a low quality. And the whole point of building a business is that you want customers to be coming back. And if you are selling subpar products, then that means that they're probably gonna leave bad reviews and they're not gonna be repeat customers. So if you work with a high quality supplier, it might be a little bit more expensive, but overall, you're probably gonna make a lot more profit in the long run. I think it's really important to work with local suppliers because over the years I've tried different side hustles and one of the, the side hustles which attracted me was drop shipping. But one of the main issues with drop shipping from places like China is that the shipping time takes such a long time. So the great thing about working with a print on demand supplier that have got bases in different locations around the world means that your customers can receive their packages a lot faster, which means that you're gonna get better reviews and you're gonna get return customers. One of my favorite marketing techniques is to actually go after trends and events that are coming up. So not big massive events like Christmas and, and Mother's Day because they might be a little bit too saturated. I mean, it's a good idea to cover those, but I like to look for more niche events where there might be a little bit less competition. For example, I had a lot of success with the Queen's Jubilee, which is a big event in the UK to celebrate the Queen. And because I was able to get a design up and running within days, I could actually jump on that trend really quickly and I had a lot of success with it. And another really good technique is to use TikTok. So TikTok is a fantastic app where almost anyone can go viral. And if you combine these, these niche events that get a lot of interest into them, and then you combine that with, with TikTok and you look what's trending on TikTok or the certain type of music track, combining those together, you can actually have quite a lot of success. So the main place where I sell most of my print on demand product is Etsy. And that's fantastic because you get a lot of organic traffic and people actually come into Etsy ready to buy and they can find your product on there. Another great thing about Etsy is that you can run adverts as well. And Etsy will actually run adverts on Google so you can actually reach a much wider audience and it's very simple to do. Best place to start when you're doing marketing with print on demand is to actually focus on the design. The great thing about print on demand is that you're, you've got total creativity over your designs. So I think your marketing plan should start with the design. So that's what I do. I think, how can I create a design that will stand out amongst the crowd? When someone's scrolling on social media, will my design jump out at them? So that's what I did with the Queen's Jubilee. I didn't just do a boring design like everyone else was doing. I kind of looked into what works well with British culture and thought of a fun angle that I could do. So I put a traffic cone on the Queen's head, I put a tongue sticking out, put Let's Party at the bottom, and kind of made it stand out. So then that, that design did the marketing for me. So when you start putting that onto a platform like TikTok, people engage with it, they like it, and, and they end up buying it as well. Some of the main mistakes that people do, the first thing is that they just don't try enough designs. So they might try and create one simple design and then if it doesn't sell, they think, oh, this is not for me. But I think in order to have success with something like print on demand, you need to be creating lots and lots of designs because you never know what's gonna have success. The other thing is that I don't think people put enough effort into their listings. So have lots of mock-ups that show your product in different areas and different lights. Make sure you're writing a really detailed description because this is the place where the customer is gonna be clicking on before they buy. So you really need to put a lot of effort into this and you'll see a lot more success. I think the key is just to be creative and try different designs. You've got the ability, it doesn't cost you any money to create designs to, to try with print on demand. If you've got an idea, test it out, have a bit of fun with it. Thanks for watching. It was great to come down to the Printful facility. And if you've got any questions, you kind of want to ask me questions about print on demand, then feel free to come over to my brand new community where I'm teaching people all about print on demand. It's at loadedlab.com.